What are the top 10 rides at Poulton's Park in 2023? I'm here to show you, starting off at number 10 and working my way to number one. Let's ride and roll those theme park credits. I'm about to go off like a weapon, fuel to the top, gotta fill the benches. In my thoughts obsession, I will not stop, no I'm never second guessing. I got a god complex, haters love to hate but I never feel pressed. Got a lot on my plate but I never get stressed. I'll take all the pressure like I'm in this test. Oh, tear it up like I'm Jason, I see the world like it's ready for the taking. I see this place like a game I'm playing, straight to the bank to collect my payments. No negotiations, it's my Number 10, Buffalo Falls. Sliding in at number 10 and starting off this countdown, we have Buffalo Falls. It opened in 2003 as Wave Runner and is now rethemed in the new Tornado Springs area as you can see of the park. It's a fantastic slide, it really is. I really enjoy going on this slide. You get splashed on the way down, it's really fun. And of course you can race your family, which is fun too. Number nine, Al's Auto Academy. Al's Auto Academy opened in 2021 and is manufactured by Garmendale. This beautifully designed track here allows kids to pick their own car and drive around the stunning Tornado Springs. And at the end, kids can pick up their own driving license for an additional price. So if you're looking for your kids to drive one of these instead of driving you crazy, then get on down to Al's Auto Academy. Worming his way in at number eight, Cat O Pillar Coaster. Situated in the Critter Creek area of the park, as you can see, it's fantastic theme for an older coaster. This slippery coaster opened in 2000 as the Stinger, before being rethemed to 2015 to Caterpillar Coaster. Nearly 25 years old, still going strong here. Fantastic coaster, fantastic theming. They're ready to ride and roll. On to the next one. Number seven, Velociraptor. Rawr. Velociraptor is a well themed boomerang that opened in 2016. Situated in the Lost Kingdom area of the park, this coaster looks great. It has a top speed of 58 miles an hour and is usually a walk on, so give it a go. Here we go then on Velocicoaster. Coaster. I mean, Velociraptor, I wish it was Velocicoaster. It's time to ride and roll. Here we go. Here we go then, going backwards. Lovely breeze coming up. Number six, Magma. Magma drops in at number six on my list. In the queue line for Magma, you wouldn't think this opened 10 years ago. Fantastic feeling from Poland once again. It's time to get on Magma, come along for your journey. Inside Magma now, you've got fantastic feeling in there as you can see. Magma. Here we go then on Magma, you get some fantastic views over there of all the coasters, just over there. Oh yeah, it's pretty forceless on this. <laughs> Number five, Farm Your Flyer. Farm Your Flyer is Potton's Park's newest coaster and it opened in 2022. Situated in the Tornado Springs area, this ride is really well themed and as you can see, it's got a great queue line. I love the train design on Farmyard Flyer, it looks absolutely stunning. And all the plane theme in around here looks absolutely great. Number 4, Cyclonator. Cyclonator looks great at Ponds Park, it really does. It draws in the crowds, it's got great theming and it's intense. This is the most intense ride here at Poulton's by far. This is Poulton saying we are not just a family friendly park. We have intense rides here. I won't be going on this ride today. It causes me to have motion sickness, which is weird because I like Loki at Lisburg. But this one makes me sick to my stomach every single time I go on it. Still makes that number four on the list though. Number two, Flight of the Pterosaur. Flight of the Terrace will open in 2016 and it's a family favourite at this park. I really enjoy this fantastic Vekoma coaster, it's a great coaster. One of the best intense moments of this coaster is the helix here, low to the floor. Beautiful. You get some fantastic views then as you climb this coaster, here we go. Just about to go down. Woo! Let's go! Here we 
go, time for a bit of a healing. Number two, and just missing out on that number one spot, Cobra. The only reason why Cobra doesn't make number one on the list is because of course, as you can see, the lack of theming around. If Polton's put in some theming, it would absolutely be great and it would easily take that number one spot on my list. <laughs> I love Cobra, I could easily go on this again and again with its fantastic airtime heels. And of course you get a fantastic helix here towards the end, that is absolutely great, really low down. Here we go then, as you go into the coolest on Cobra, you get absolutely bashed, oh! Cobra. Oh! Here we go, favourite bit of the ride, airtime, straight into the tunnel, Hooray! Taking that number one spot and whipping up a storm, Storm Chaser. When you climb that lift hill, you get some fantastic views of that Tornado Springs area. Although not one of my favorites at the park, this still takes that number one spot due to the theming and overall package of this coaster. Manufactured by Matt Rides, this Storm Chaser spinning coaster is absolutely stunning. Fun little fact, Sierra Sidewinder at Knott's Berry Farm has the same layout, just different theming. You get some fantastic views up here in Tornado Springs. This Mack Rides coaster is intense for what it is. Storm chaser. Just a quick note then, Edge would have made this top 10 list, but unfortunately it's down for maintenance. I do find this particular Zamperla disc very jolty though. It's one of the worst ones in the UK and it needs a lot of work doing to it. It really does, got a terrible jolt to it. What would I like Poltons to get next in the future? Poltons are crying out for a couple of dark rides, so a couple of trackless dark rides with their theming that they do at this park would be great. Poltons have already announced that in 2024 they're going to be getting a permanent Rapids attraction at this park and that's bound to make a splash. This is my first top 10 video, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna be visiting hundreds of theme parks in the future, counting down number 10 to number one. I wanted to bring you something different from other channels and counting down live at the parks rather than sitting indoors and doing a voiceover. If you'd like to see more top 10 videos from me around the parks, please give me a subscribe and hit that thumbs up. It really does help the channel grow. What is your top 10 rides at Poulton's Park? What would you like to see come to the park next? Let me know in the comments section and I'll see you in the next Theme Park Top 10 video. Let's ride and roll.